Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. So continuing our discussion about antibiotics, uh, now we are going to talk about the monobactams and the carbenems. Uh, so those two drugs uh, are also from members of the cell wall inhibitors that we are discussing and they are considered beta-lactam antibiotics. They contain the beta-lactam ring and they work the same way as the penicillin and the cephalosporin does by affecting the cell wall of the bacteria. The difference between those two drugs and the other beta-lactam antibiotics is that they are more resistant to the beta-lactamase enzyme uh, and we will talk about each of these groups in the next slides. So let's start. So let's talk about the monobactams. So the prototype drug of the monobactams uh, is the uh, azitrionam. So azitrionam is the prototype drug. Uh, and regarding the pharmacokinetics of the uh, monobactams, so pharmaco uh, kinetics. Uh, the azitrionam is available in IV uh, route or IV formula only uh, and it can cross the blood brain barrier. It can cross uh, the uh, blood brain barrier. Uh, and regarding the spectrum of the monobactams, uh, they are highly resistant to the beta-lactamase enzyme, so highly resistant uh, to beta-lactamase uh, uh, and their spectrum is mainly gram-negatives and they are very good with the gram-negatives uh, and they work also on the uh, pseudomonas uh, but unfortunately, they uh, don't affect the gram positives. So, no action uh, against uh, gram positives. Uh, the therapeutic uses of the monobactams, therapeutic uses, they are used to treat uh, pneumonia. And meningitis and sepsis that are caused by susceptible pathogens so susceptible uh, pathogens uh, and those drugs don't have a cross allergy with penicillin so no across allergy with the uh, penicillin. Uh, if the patient is uh, allergic to penicillin in severe way, like they have anaphylactic shock from the penicillin, uh, they usually uh, can take the cephalosporins also and the safe, uh, the safe uh, drug for them would be the monobactams because they are even more complex and they don't have cross allergy with penicillin. Uh, now let's talk about the carbenems. So the carbenems are very expensive drugs and the agents of the carbenems include uh, four famous drugs, the imipenem, that's the first carbenem discovered and also we have the meropenem. This is the most famous carbenem. We have the ertapenem. And finally, we have the doripenem. So doripenem. So those, the carbenems, are also beta-lactam uh, antibiotics. So they work the same way as the penicillin does. They work on the cell wall. And regarding the pharmacokinetics of the uh, carbenems uh, is that they are 
available as uh, intravenous formulas only so available intravenous only and they can cross the blood brain barrier can cross uh, the blood uh, brain barrier well uh, regarding the spectrum of the uh, carbonyms they are uh, very resistant to the beta lactamase enzyme very uh, resistant to uh, beta uh, lactamase those are more resistant than the cephalosporins uh, so and their spectrum is that they are active they are uh, they have wide spectrum so they are active against gram positives gram negatives and any erupts uh, and they, the carpenems have limited use uh, they are the last resort antibiotics one of the last resort antibiotics uh, because of the fear of the emergence of their resistance against them and they are usually used for uh, very resistant uh, organisms so they are uh, limited use uh, last resort antibiotics uh, regarding the adverse effects of the carbonates so adverse uh, effects of the carpenems uh, the imipenem cause nephrotoxicity so imipenem alone uh, cause uh, nephrotoxicity uh, that's because the imipenem uh, is converted uh, by the dihydro uh, peptidase enzyme in the kidney into uh, toxic metabolites toxic metabolites that cause uh, nephrotoxicity and to solve this problem the imipenem is uh, is combined with the celestatin uh, celestatin uh, cause inhibition of the dihydropeptidase enzyme so uh, celestatin uh, cause inhibition of the uh, dihydropeptidase enzyme and this would lead to uh, less or no nephrotoxicity by the imipenem so imipenem combined with the uh, uh, the other carbonyms uh, does not cause uh, nephrotoxicity so other agents uh, don't cause nephrotoxicity so no need to combine them so other agents don't cause uh, nephrotoxicity so no need to combine them with celestatin Another side effect of the imipenem is that uh, it might cause seizures. So imipenem uh, might, might provoke seizures in susceptible patients. Provoke uh, seizures. The other side effect of the, uh, of the carbonems is that they might cause uh, hematological side effects like bleeding tendency uh, and uh, with that we reach the end of this video thank you guys for watching and see you in next video peace